Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. Tabby, this one's for you. And what about me? Um. What's the matter, Gumbo? Freckles loves Tubby more than she loves me. She hates me. You didn't get a lollipop for Gumbo? Um, I got only two. I gave one to Tubby and kept one for myself. I see. Let me tell you the story of Emily. There lived a young girl called Carol. She was six years old and a very popular girl in school. She was friendly and sweet, and everyone wanted to be friends with her. One day, a new girl called Emily came into Carol's class. She was a quiet and shy little girl. She went and sat all by herself in the last row. Carol, who was sitting in the front row, turned back at Emily and smiled to make her feel comfortable. Emily smiled back at her, a little hesitant. The teacher entered the class and began teaching. Soon, the bell rang and it was lunch break. All the children got up and ran out into the garden to play, except Emily. Carol was about to leave the classroom and she looked back and saw Emily sitting all alone, looking out of the window. Carol went up to her and said, Hey, why don't you come and join us? It's fun during the breaks. We all play together. Come. Emily didn't know if she really wanted to go out and play with the others. She was feeling very shy in her new school. But Carol would not leave her alone. She pulled Emily by her hand and ran out of the classroom. She took her out into the garden and brought her to her other friends. Look, we have a new friend. Everyone, meet Emily. Emily, these are my friends. Emily smiled shyly. There was one boy in the group who did not smile back at Emily. He said, No, I'm not going to play with her. I am not playing if she is playing with us. Saying this, he stomped off. Emily started crying and she ran away from everyone. Carol was angry with Tim for his rude behavior. So she made a plan and discussed it with her other friends. Next day, after class, Carol went out to play with her friends. They took Emily with them too. But this time, they did not take Tim along with them. Tim sat all by himself and watched everyone playing together and having fun. He felt really bad. He thought to himself, that's okay. They will want me to play with them tomorrow. The next day, the same thing happened. Emily, Carol, and all of their other friends were playing together. This time, too, without Tim. Tim was very angry with Carol for leaving him out. He walked up to all of them and said, How can you all start playing without me? Now, do you realize how Emily must have felt when you chose not to play with her? Tim realized his fault. He apologized to Emily and they all started playing together happily. So, it is never a good feeling if people don't choose you. We should always love everyone the same way. I am sorry, Gumbo. I didn't want to hurt you. You can take mine for now. And I promise to get you another one the next time. Take mine, Gumbo. We're really very sorry. Take both the lollipops. <laughs> that was a nice moral story, wasn't it? Hope you liked it. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Trees. On the fourth day, God created the sun. 
to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the whole